All right, guys, KB32 here, check it out. So we're sitting over here on the review table. And in front of me, I've got my toolkit. What's in your toolkit? And somebody asked me, what would you take to the range? Well, guys, it goes a little bit more deeper than that with uh, some people that I hang out with. Not only do we take it to the range, but we also take it to competitions. We just carry it with us 24 seven, you never know. So this is one of the reasons why I have a toolkit like this. Now, big shout out to Blake Wilkes and his dad, Bill. Uh, who are really, really some of the coolest people in the entire world. I can't tell you how many times Mr. Wilkes, Bill, has saved my rear end when it came to tools. Because shooting at a competition, you don't have a torque screw or a torque bit that gets the optic off the top of your gun after it blows up. Anyway, or matter of fact, when you're cleaning the gun and you need some of that Loctite, Hey, Bill, do you have a fresh thing of Loctite that I can borrow? Sure. So anyway, uh, I've always learned, keep your tools with you. So this is uh, the original kit that I got from uh, the Borka tool kit. Uh, Mr. Borka, uh, X-Ring, uh, hooked me up with this. And I wanted to share it with you. This is just a conglomerate of all the things that I have saved over the years. So start off with this. In the front, this little jewel right here. This guy is the... Uh, little uh, T-wrench with a torque set on the front torque bit and this fits all of my primary arm stuff but the majority of the stuff matter of fact there's Dimitri right there <laughs> uh, also a front sight tool I always want to have a front sight tool because you never know what I might be shooting that particular day so that's it and in the front is some blue Loctite now I keep this in the front because this is some nasty stuff if it gets all over everything, especially if it dries up, it is gross, okay? And it tastes bad, so don't, I know I don't have to tell the most of you, but there are probably a couple Marines that are watching this thing. So Marine Corps, don't put this in your mouth, okay? That's a joke, Semper Fi. So I used to train with the second recon guys out at Ponzo Beach a lot. All right, so what's in this thing? Well, there's a lot of stuff. Like I said, this is a conglomerate of a lot of things that I have picked up over the years. Some of it is original to the Borka set. Some of it is not added to it. All right, first of all, let's just talk about this guy right here. This, I have a small uh, wrench set at home. I picked this up because I like it. It uh, articulates like this back and forth. It's set up, I think that's a quarter inch bit, and it's just nicely made. So uh, it's additional to what I have right here. Why do I have this? I don't know. I, I, I like it. Uh, also, this right here is an extension. I think that's four inch extension with a half inch nut. It goes real well with uh, optics if you're trying to get in there, uh, especially those that, wait a minute, where is it at? Let me show you. Here's one. These are half inch and this will set up quite nicely to that screw. Maybe this is not a half inch. Maybe, I don't know. In any case, that's what this is designed for, is to tighten these guys up. All right, put that out of the way before they demonetize my video. All right, so over here is a set of little uh, Allen's tipped, uh, what do you call these things, drivers. This is a 1.5 by 50. These are made in Germany. I use these specifically for my primary arms uh, turrets. One is for the turret cap, one is for the actual turrets and resetting those. I keep these with me because one, I just don't want to have to deal with the use of uh, Allen wrenches, okay? Uh, all right, so next, same thing. This is set up, I think this is a one and a half. You know what, I could probably get rid of this because I do have those, but I've kept this in here. And I use this for the uh, wrench set. Okay, uh, tweezers. Don't ask me, I put them in there because of the fun of it. This is another extension here, uh, and I'll show you the reason why I have this. This has a driver on the end of it that is set up for all these guys right here. Now in here, I keep SAE, I keep metric, and also uh, these are the torques right here. These are the Allen wrench sets right here flathead, cross tip, and there's your torques. Now these are set up for both your security stuff with the nipples on the inside of those things. And if you ever build a federal prison, you'll know what I'm talking about there or done uh, toilet partitions. This is another one. This is set up. This is a little bit bigger. 
this is a regular old uh, what is that three eighths inch drive right there, and this is this was original to the Borka set, and this was, and I believe, and this was set with the Borka set, and of that, that is all, well, exception to this. I can't tell you how many times somebody's walked up to me and asked, "Do you have a cleaning rod or something that I could bust a uh, stuck casing?" out of it. Now this is really neat in that it has this guy right here that is a driving tip. So you can take that tip off and this will actually roll out to the full length of just about any cleaning rod. So this is really, really, really cool. You've got this tip on it right here. You can put this on the end of it and you won't damage this guy. Uh, this is set up with, well, shit, never mind. Just put that right back where it was. Don't, never mind. I didn't. I didn't. You didn't see that. Okay. But in any case, there you go. And it has a nice little round tip. So if you you need to do that, that's well good and done. Flathead screwdriver with a set a little cross tip uh, screwdriver tip right there. I keep this because you never know when the optic that you're trying to adjust has a miniature little uh, deal. And I've got couple of uh, well yeah I had well here's one right here so for instance this guy right here you need a little screw tip you can jump that in there god I'm blind and you can turn that over all right or if you need a little bit bigger of a screw tip well you got one right here and you can put it in this guy right there and use that you can turn it on top and or you can put it on extension if you need to reach down in there real deep I keep this long guy because I have a couple of my adjustable gas blocks, superlative gas blocks. This is what it comes to. Sometimes you got to reach in from the front and you can turn just like that. Pick. I always have a pick. You never know when you have to do a little bit of detail cleaning so if, or if you need to get in there, pull something out or turn something. I can't remember what the last thing I used on this, but I did. And then lastly, and I think that is it. Grease, heavy duty synthetic fluoropolymer lubricant, great for use on rifles, pistols, and shotguns. Okay, well, that's it. Tetra gun. Uh, I, I don't know where I could put a list of this stuff together. It is really and truly just something that I've, uh, I've accumulated over the years. I want to say big thanks for uh, Ray uh, for reintroducing me to Mr. Borka, who those. Uh, Pork wrenches, or the, the uh, what do you call it? They're set for, I don't know, what do you, <laughs> set for torque, right? Where you click it and it goes click, click, click. My God, guys, I can't remember anything these days. But that's, I just wanted to give you a quick rundown. I thought this would be an interesting video to do. Uh, that's it. So, with that being said, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you've already done so. Support Red, White, and Blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform. You know, the ones with camouflage that aren't sitting there shooting uh, paintball guns at our citizens sitting at their own front door and their porch. Because that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is a clear violation of our amendment and our Constitution. And those jackasses need to be brought to justice. And I don't give a shit how late a day it is or how long ago it was. KB32, and if you vote for that jackass, you're just voting for more of that. I'm out of here. Y'all be good.